The bacteria in this dish can kill. Streptococcus pneumonia is a major cause of chronic lung conditions. Scientists are trying to understand how our immune systems respond to infection, with the findings helping our knowledge of other respiratory illnesses such as COVID-19. Also in the lab, ongoing trials of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine. This, a small corner of the world's first end-to-end -end pandemic institute, aimed at helping the world prevent, prepare and respond to the worst. Someone that I know said once, you don't build a fire brigade after the fire has started. And that's what we're trying to do here. We really need to develop um, new platforms and models so when actually we get the next virus coming through, we very rapidly can develop vaccines and drugs to tackle that. There's a huge breadth of clinical, academic and data-driven expertise here. The pandemic revealed huge cracks in our ability to deal with a global outbreak. Time now to strengthen our defences against what could come next. In another part of the city, the Pandemic Institute's new gleaming headquarters. The project's the brainchild of Professor Matthew Bayliss. Whenever something is decided about a pandemic, it would have been better to have decided it earlier. Um, in which, and speed really is of the essence. And I think in some cases, you know, there were steps that we've taken in this country which in retrospect, it would have been better to have taken earlier. The test can be easily used without the need of additional equipment. Underpinning efforts, a $14 million donation from Innova Medical Group. The US startup quickly became the world's largest supplier of rapid COVID-19 tests, making billions of dollars in government contracts in the process. We feel that there needs to be a better um, cohesive response globally to how uh, our, our economies, countries and continents respond to uh, the pandemic. We need to continue to make uh, investments into the pandemic research, not only here in Liverpool, but globally at other institutions, which will be a collaborative effort uh, so that we can get other countries and other, other communities involved. The Institute will be under scrutiny to ensure work carried out here benefits poorer countries too. We need to act as a global community and share resources because in a global situation, uh, you are not dealing with the problem as a whole if you confine them to nations. As long as there's mobility across countries, the problem will not you know, come to an end. The pandemic's turbocharged innovation. With scientific research now released in torrents, there's too much at stake to stand still. No room for complacency. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Liverpool.